Welcome to the August Back to School edition of Texarkana Magazine. We are focusing on the unity and educational excellence in our community from the perspectives of the superintendents from Texarkana Arkansas School District, Texarkana Independent School District, Liberty Ilo, and Pleasant Grove. This is Dr. Doug Brubaker with the Texarkana Independent School District. Where did you grow up and what was your school like in your hometown? Well, I grew up in a really small, tight-knit community out in central Kansas, and so it was a great place to grow up. I remember that our uh, elementary school was really within walking distance of just about anything, and so we had a uh, teacher who'd walk us to the public library or we'd go to the bank or uh, the post office for many field trips. It was just a, a really supportive, great community. What is your favorite school memory? Gosh, I remember when I was uh, in fourth grade, my daughter's right about that age now, so I think it's uh, special for me. We, we had this uh, science experiment that we did that studied heliotropism. And, mm. and basically all that means is it's just the tendency of uh, plants to move toward the light, right? Mm -hmm. And so we, uh, we planted these seeds in recycled cans. We, we built this dark room. We did lab reports. We stationed these lights. And what we discovered was that plants uh, grow toward light. Mm -hmm. But the process that we learned to do it was really fun and engaging. And uh, that's just something I remember really fondly. Was there a teacher or mentor who influenced you in those formative years? Sure. Well, I think uh, in high school, I had a teacher named Mr. Westerman. And uh, I, I talked to him not too long ago, actually. We exchanged a couple of notes here recently, and he's, he's doing really well. His thing was that he really challenged students to uh, express themselves in writing. And, and I remember that he challenged us to really write and rewrite and, and to exchange out those kind of boring words for more vivid verbs and descriptive adjectives, that kind of thing. And so um, I, I just really appreciated his enthusiasm for his subject. And you also could tell that he cared about each of us as students. Mm -hmm. and, and I see that in, in TISD and in so many of our teachers. It's, mm -hmm. it's really kind of exciting to join a, a community like that. Absolutely. Well, tell me about the path to your current position as superintendent. Okay. Well, I started out as a fourth grade teacher in um, Birdville ISD, which is outside of Fort Worth, and then about 22 years in the Metroplex. So I was an assistant principal. I was a principal in a district. I was a director of instructional technology, which is a little bit unusual. Mm -hmm. I was a chief technology officer, assistant superintendent, an associate superintendent in Garland ISD, and then um, moved to Fort Smith, Arkansas in mm -hmm. 2017 to serve as superintendent there. And uh, we are really excited to have uh, moved back to Texas in January of this year, my, uh, my wife, my daughter, and me. And, and that's what led us back to Texarkana ISD, mm -hmm. the, the place to be. It yeah. is the place to be. Well, what are you excited about in this new school year? Well, I think there's a lot of excitement just about the fact that we think the worst of COVID is behind us. You know, this has been such a challenging time for our staff and our students and our families. And so I think there's just a lot of excitement about getting back together without that uh, hanging over us. I'm also really excited about a strategic planning initiative that we've got uh, set up for this fall. We're going to be uh, engaging the community in dialogue about what we want our schools to look like, not in our typical time horizon. You know, we look at grading periods in mm -hmm. schools or fiscal years, but five years from now. And to work with the community to, to build that kind of plan and start executing that on behalf of students, that's something that uh, really appeals to me and I'm really excited about. Well, and this will be your first full school year as it superintendent. Will. That's exciting in itself. That's right, it really is. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your district. Describe the unique culture of your district. So when I was interviewing with the board and then after I got here, um, it wasn't long before people started talking about the Tiger family. You know, you, you hear about this in our district and it's just this really beautiful spirit uh, that, that permeates the, the, the staff, the, the student body, where people just really care about each other and take care of each other. And I think joining the district when I have, I had that opportunity to really see that in full effect with the, the pandemic being such a challenging time. The other element of the culture that I find so powerful here is just really high standards. We want our kids to perform well academically. And then we also stress the importance of getting the, um, the, the supports 
uh, in place mm -hmm. so that they can meet or exceed those high expectations. So it's a, it's a great place to work and, and learn and grow. I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm glad to have you here. How do you ensure that your district maintains facilities that keep up with current technology and evolving needs of 21st century students? Well, I think it's a constant challenge. First of all, you know, uh, Texarkana ISD was one of the, or has been for decades, a leader in, uh, in STEM education. And so, you know, when you have that expectation, then you have to make sure that you're continuing to make investments in uh, having the, the best materials, the, the most advanced coursework, um, all those great resources that our students need. Some of the things that we're going to be engaged in this year, there's a really strong interest in doing one-to-one -one computing on a permanent basis, so we're working toward that at K-12. In addition, we're doing a facility assessment where we're going to take uh, a comprehensive view of all of our facilities and determine uh, what kinds of investments we think are going to be needed over the next five years or so in order to make sure that we continue to have those resources for our students. Well, did COVID affect funding due to low attendance or were there any grants or additional funds given to aid through the pandemic? Sure, so uh, COVID has really upended a lot about public schools and mm -hmm. I think uh, TISD has weathered it really well uh, financially and also you know, spiritually. We are excited that the funds that were allocated by the federal government in order to help with COVID relief have been released and we're uh, preparing to make those investments in uh, uh, supports for our students that, that may need them. Uh, we also were really excited. We've gotten a couple of really, we got a $1.7 million grant uh, mm -hmm. just over the weekend mm -hmm. for 21st century learning centers in our district. We have a, another multi-million dollar grant with the TLL Temple Foundation in order to address the needs of students in, in a post-COVID mm -hmm. uh, world. And so um, we're really pleased with the things that we're going to be able to offer students as they come back. What do you see as the greatest challenge moving into the new school year? And how do you plan to work towards a positive year? Sure. So I think assessing and addressing the individual needs of, of students as we kick off the school year is going to be one of the most important challenges that we face. Uh, I think in terms of setting a positive tone, I think about what... Uh, has been accomplished over the last 18 months. TISD staff members and their peers across the state have kept schools functioning for kids. And that's an amazing accomplishment, all the work and effort that's gone into that. And so I think we begin by celebrating that. We begin with gratitude, thinking about uh, the support that we've gotten from our communities, our families, the hard work of our students. And uh, we just are mindful of that as we as we kick off the year. We look for and we look for a lot of opportunities to to celebrate successes in in the future. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you hope the school experience will be like in 20 years? I tell you what, when I go out to our schools and I see our kids coding, I see them working with robotics, I see the things they're doing in art, I see the things they're doing in music, there are times when I would just like to check myself back in and yeah. start over. It's just amazing what we do. And so as you look 20 years from now, I think that we're going to see uh, technology give us the option, the opportunity to further individualize instruction for kids, mm -hmm. to be able to tailor experiences to individual needs and interests. And I'm really excited to, to see how that's going to unfold. I think it, if past this prologue, TISD is going to continue to be a leader in making those great things happen for students. Mm -hmm. Well, if you could tell your students anything, what would it be? Well, I would just tell them that I am just so proud of them. I think about the experience that, uh, that they've had over the last 18 months. And uh, I'm just so proud of the effort that they put into to sticking with it. I remember hearing about uh, students who were studying last year for AP tests, and it wasn't clear that they were going to be able to schedule time with the, the teacher in order to, to, to have the time that they needed to study. And they individually, personally uh, banded together to create these study groups to make sure that they had time with the teacher who put in extra hours in order to make that happen. Uh, in order to for those students to experience success. And we had lots of students who achieved at extremely high levels and walked away from that experience with high uh, numbers of college hours to start their college careers with. And that is an example of the kind of spirit and resilience that I see in our kids 
all across the district. So I would just tell our, our students that I'm really proud of them mm -hmm. and that I'm really excited that uh, to see them in the fall and to get to know them. And I look forward to seeing the great things that they're going to do in the coming years. Well, Dr. Brubaker, thank you so much for being a part of this today. We appreciate you and look forward for your first school year. I know the great things that will come, but thank you for your time today. Thank you. With the challenges of the past school year behind us, and with the talented leadership moving us forward, we have high expectations of an extraordinary year ahead.